Hi, I'm Dan from Camsys. In this video, we're going to take a look at the head symbols that are available in the output plan view from MagicQ software version 1905 onwards. So as long as you're running software version 1905 or newer, you'll have access to this feature. First of all, we're going to have a little bit of a recap about the output plan view, how you'd set this up and what you might use it for. So I'm gonna get straight into it. So to do this, I need to go to the out key here and click that to take us to the output window. And then we need to go to view plan at the top of our screens here. And then the first thing you'll likely see here if you haven't used it before is you'll get this message that says no grid size defined. So that's telling us we need to set up a grid size for our grid first of all. So to do that, I need to go to set grid size here. And then I need to enter the width slash height. So I want a 12 by six grid, enter. And then it pops up this option asking us if we want to set up as a multi-element grid. So basically you need to know whether you're going to be inserting fixtures that have multiple elements and if you want access to those elements or not. I don't, so I'm going to select no. Once I've done this, I've set up my grid, I can start inserting some fixtures straight away. So I'm going to go to the group window. I'm going to select my spot group. Back to the output window. I'm going to select the first top left square where I want to insert these here. And I'm just going to say insert heads. And I'm going to say I want to insert these horizontally. And we can see it's inserted those into the grid horizontally like so. It's a little bit small so I can zoom in on my E encoder like that and increase the size like so. Um, first thing I might want to do is I might, might not want those all in a row there so I can move them around if I want to. I could select a load of them here and I can move these up and down using either my soft keys or my Y encoder here. And same for if I want to move them left and right like so or with the X encoder. I could also move them using the move key and then select where I want to move them to. So I can just go and make sure I've got these selected and go move. It says select destination. I want those there. Again, I could select them, say move there, like so. So that's how I can move my fixtures around and organize them within the grid. And um, there's various different views that you can use for your fixtures within this grid as well. So if I go to view type, at the moment it's showing head numbers. So I go to view type, and I can change this to say head names or again, view type, intensity. And we can see at the moment it's showing zero intensity because obviously my fixtures are down currently at zero intensity. Um, but if I now go and turn off view grid, so I get just the view of my fixtures without the grid, and I could say, bring up this dimmer chase, which I recorded earlier, and you can see you get a visual representation of the intensity running across those fixtures, and with how I've got it set up as well under view type, I've also got the numbers changing to display intensity here as well. So I've got that running across there. And similarly, I could say bring up my RGB queue here with my RGB color effect, and you get a representation of the colors within the grid as well. So if we want to show some head symbols on here to have a bit of a nicer visual representation of your fixtures, to do that, I would just first of all bring down these queues like so, and then I would go to um, back to view grid and go grid options and I'm going to first of all one option I'm going to select is keep aspect ratio so what this does is when you've got view grid turned off when you're just viewing your fixtures it's going to keep the correct aspect ratio that, for your grid so I'm going, I want that selected and then I also want to select show symbols to show those head symbols like so and select done now if I go back to turn off view grid you can see I've got those head symbols set up like that. Um, so where do these head symbols come from? Well, they come from the patch window. So if I go to the patch window and go to my spot tab here, I've actually set the shape for these here currently as yoke wash, and that's why they were displaying as a wash symbol. Um, of course, they're spots, so I want to use a spot symbol for those. So I'm going to select all of them like so, and click in the command box here to pop up the options. And we've got various different options for quite a few different shapes of fixtures here. I'm just going to select yoke spot. Now, if I go back to the output grid, like so, you can see I've got those fixtures now showing those spot symbols instead of the wash symbols. 
So again, if I bring up, say, my dimmer chase and my RGB effect, you can see, again, you're still getting that visual representation of the colors and the intensity across those fixtures. But with the head symbols as well, you get a bit of a nicer representation, and particularly if you're using various different types of fixtures. We've got quite a few different head symbols in there to choose from for those. So I'm going to bring those cues back down again. And one last thing I'm going to show you. If I go back to a previous grid here, this is uh, one that I made earlier. So if I make sure I've got that key to aspect ratio option on there, you can see I just need to zoom out a little bit. And what I've done here is I've laid out my head symbols across a bit of a larger grid. And I've actually taken a screenshot from our Magic Viz visualization software and placed that as the background. And um, so we get a bit of a, a very simple a bit of visualization here. So again, I can bring up these cues and you can see that representation of intensity and colors is going to be displayed across my grid. And if you want to set a background on your grid, to do that, you would make sure you're in view grid and go to grid action. And then at the moment, this button here says clear background because I've got a background set. So I could use that to clear the current background and then that will turn into set background there and you just select the background from the file manager. So that's how you would set up your grid and use it and lay out your fixtures and um, use the head symbols to get a nice visual representation of how your fixtures are laid out, maybe across your stage or across maybe an arch architectural installation. And that's available from software version 1905 onwards.